We are here in Goa with the Royal Enfield Scram 440. Yes, Royal Enfield has brought another revised model. Now, essentially, it is still a Scram, but now in a 440cc avatar. But what has really changed on this? Well, first things first, the most obvious, the most evident changes are the is the introduction of new colors. What you see here is white with a shade of green. Then there are other three more colors, black with orange, white with blue and red, and then white with turquoise, the original Scram color when it was launched. Apart from that, it now also gets an LED headlight, like a lot of other Royal Enfield bikes, including the 350, the 450, and the 650. But the most significant change on the Scram 440 is this engine. This is a 443cc LS motor, single cylinder, and makes 25.4 bhp, 34 Nm of torque, and also gets the 6-speed gearbox. So essentially, what it should translate to is better highway riding capabilities, more grunt in the higher F range, and overall better legs for touring. But that's not it. Royal Enfield has also tweaked the chassis, made it stronger to house a uh, top, top box with a payload capacity of 5 kgs. And now there are two variants of the Scram. This is the one with spoke wheels. It's called the trail variant. And then there you see is the one with alloy wheels, which is called the post variant. Both the models get uh, C8 tires, block pattern, 19 inch front, 17 inch rear. Now this is a tube, uh, tube tire and those are tubeless. But if you come closer, you can see that even on the feature front, it gets the same instrument console. It's a mix of analog and digital. This is the LCD inset, just like the oldest cram. But if you want, you can also get uh, the triple navigation here as a second port, which is smartphone compatible and gives you turn by turn navigation. And again, on the hardware front, it's pretty much the same. You get telescopic front forks, a monoshock, 200 mm of ground clearance and 795 mm of seat height. Let me show you the ergonomics for the new Scram 440. For reference, I am 510 and even with it being on the paddock stand, I can still uh, tiptoe and if I were to be in my riding position, you can see that my feet is slightly rear set but overall in the center of the motorcycle's length. The handlebar is easily accessible and overall it should be quite comfortable. This is what we expect but we'll tell you more once we get to ride it. Now if you come on this side, let's hear what the Scram 440 sounds like. Do you like the Scram 440? Let us know in the comments below.